this video, I'll show you how to use the animation feature in Descript Storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got a bunch of uh, a video here, an image here and some fancy captions in the background. Let's assume I want to have this picture animated, uh, maybe by fading it in or anything else that I want. So let's just reduce it in size and I've used the green screen feature to remove the background from this particular uh, image. So let's assume I want it maybe a little bit smaller and maybe somewhere right there. So what I can do here is uh, I can just uh, move this up slightly. Uh, we see this is the image. Now, uh, once we do that, we can come to this side with our image selected. You can see it's already selected right here and right here. So if we click on animation, we have a couple of options we can add. We can add the zoom and pan where this particular image is going to zoom in and pan. And please take a note that where you see this particular playhead, that is where the animation is going to be added. So if you want the animation to start at the beginning, then you need to have the playhead maybe somewhere there and then come back to animation. Let's click here and then come back to animation and then go through the animations. You can do a fade out, a zoom in, a spin and maybe something like a custom. Maybe you want it to come from the side and then uh, come into uh, the picture. Let's say we do a spin uh, and once we do that, uh, we can just come back. Let's play this. Thank you so much for watching this video. And see what is going to happen. I wish you the best. Stay our safe. Is going to spin and until, until next it time, gets to the end never of stop learning. Animation. See how it goes? It looks really good. Now, one thing you need to note that let's click on this layer. Uh, actually this particular clip and then let's click on show selected layer and once we do that it's going to magnify that particular layer so that we can see uh, what the animation looks like. If you right click on this you can remove the animation. Secondly if you hold this uh, kind of like thumbnail you can move the particular animation where you want it to be. You can also bring this one at the end where you want it to be because when you add an animation it adds an in and an out point. This is the in, this is the out point. So you can drag the animation where you want it. Let's say maybe somewhere like there. And then this one somewhere like there. So you can have your animation look like that. If you start playing this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. From the get go up to the end. We can actually bring this back slightly. But if we actually start playing this, so let's even move this one here. We can begin playing Thank it you there. so much for watching this video. And then the animation there goes. I wish you the it best. spins a little Stay bit safe. faster. So if and you bring it closer, time, never the animation or the spin uh, goes a little bit uh, faster. So uh, that is what it looks like. And actually it looks like it's spinning. And until next time, maybe never stop learning. Like a 90 degree, yes. If I look at this particular section here, it spins to a 90 degree. So... Uh, that's how the animation works. I wish it was a little bit better uh, in terms of changing. For example, if you do the spin, let's assume. Actually, let's see. Can we edit this? Let's say maybe 360. Yeah, I think it can spin to 360. Can it? I don't think so. I don't think it can spin to a 360. It still goes to 90. Still goes to 90. What if we spread this? Okay. Let's see, maybe something like 300. Let us see if it's going to actually accept that particular input. I think it will. So thank you so much for watching that. this video. There we go. I wish you the best. It's spinning, Stay safe. It's spinning. It's and spinning. Until next yes, time, it's going to accept. Never stop lying. Actually, move the slider uh, right about the layout. When you add this particular section, it will do what you want it to do. So, uh, simply put, that's the how you can use the animations how you can remove by right clicking once you click on this particular thumbnail or actually even this particular line here and this is the in and the out point and uh, basically everything that you need to know about using the animation feature in Descript Storyboard. I hope this video has been of value to you. Thanks for watching.